And today I got a really special video for you guys. I went on a crazy ride yesterday and I was thinking to myself like, you know, we don't really talk about this enough and there should be a platform for it. So here I am going to create that platform for us. Let's get into it. I am, as you can see, a woman of color and writing for me does not look the same as it does for many of my other male counterparts and other female or women counterparts that I have also seen on the road and on the track. Several reasons for that. You know, one thing that we don't discuss really is helmet hair. And particularly in the black community, I, I just personally have not seen discussions about it like we kind of play and we talk about it but i mean like seriously are we talking about it so if you have been following along with my journey you do um or you should know or you have seen that i do have very long natural hair whether i straighten it or i wear it in my natural curls or i'll have it slicked back in a bun and i'll drop like a few pictures and stuff so that you can see like the looks and stuff of what i'm describing here um, every so often I'll go ahead and put a protective style in my hair like these knotless braids that I did this is the first time I'm doing boho boho is the loose strands of hair that you see sticking out to kind of give it a little bit of a bohemian look and I was really really concerned about doing this during the season because I like to ride and I ride as often as I do and I know that for many people that may sound like super ridiculous but I literally have to plan out my hair based off of if my helmet is still going to fit and if my hair is going to last so I don't really get hairstyles or I don't do hairstyles that would limit me in that capacity so in a way I kind of limit myself because I want to ride and in all actuality we're just going to end up chopping off all the hair but that's a story for another time all right so follow along on this quick journey so here we are with rose she gets super hot that makes me hot that makes my head hot and i have on braids i went on a ride yesterday and i thought to myself we we just gotta talk about how all of this is even possible so i'm gonna get into a few um head situations <laughs> scenarios um that i experience and i go through on a day to day and these are just things that i have found that works particularly for me and this is just how i have been going about doing it okay so let's start with um me on a regular day-to-day -day basis i'm wearing my hair in a ponytail as you can see i have on an army shirt so i'm really good at doing my military bun still so if i slick my hair back into you know like a tight sleek ponytail and i put it in a bun i make sure that my hair is all like situated and laid down i would then put on one of these caps now i bought this from cycle gear this is axial um and it came in like a dual pack i caught it on sale when i did and it was two for ten dollars originally like twenty dollars for like the pack but I caught it on sale, so I bought like two sets of them because I always need these caps. Um, but they're good for like sweat. The good thing that I like about it because my head is a lot smaller is that I can fit this on and this can actually even go over my bun. So if I had this on my head and I was wearing like a ponytail or a bun, it would actually be able to go over my bun and all of it would be covered even in my, um, even while my hem helmet is on. So. The important thing about that and the reason why I'm mentioning that is because the next like nastiest thing to me next to helmet hair is like hair that smells like outside or just clothes that smell like outside. That's why I'm heavy on the smell goods. Like if you come next to me, you're more than likely always going to say, Kendra, you smell good. That's just my thing. I hygienically just don't like bad smells. So um, I don't like helmet hair and I don't like the smell of outside. So what I have found is that when I put this over my bun also, it helps protect my hair a little bit from the outside elements. Not so much like all of the smell, but it does protect it from like the wind and the debris and the dirt and stuff. So did I just say the dirt? <laughs> Y'all know what I meant. It does protect it um, from that to a degree. So I really like this. This is like my top notch 
first pick choice. Whenever I ride, I have to have on one of these. Okay. So the next one that I like to wear is one of these neck gaiters. Um, I have it in black. Don't know where it is because I haven't worn it in a while. But this is the other kind of like camo-ish one. And it's also the same brand, Axial. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Um, and I got it from Psycho Gear as well. This one I like to use because um, it it kind of conforms like a neck. It's, it is essentially a neck gaiter. But how I put it on is like a balaclava. So it goes on and it comes across my face. So I'm going to do it with, the, with my hair like this just so that you can see how I wear it. This is how I will wear it. In like the winter months when it's colder, if I have a ponytail or a bun, this can go over it as well and it'll just cover it. I also like it because it helps with like wind noise. So if you feel like your helmet lets in like a lot of air and your helmet is like noisy, this kind of helps block it out because your ears are covered. So another protective way um, to protect your hearing also, but another way that I protect my hair as well. So you can also use a neck gaiter. I like to use these uh, when my hair is straight also because um, what I'll do is actually I'll put it on almost like a headband head tie. So I will put this all the way down to my neck, pull out my hair, and then pull it back over up the top. So then the hair and everything will fall through there and it just looks like one cap. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully I have a picture and I'll put that in here as well so that you guys can see what that looks like. But these um, like neck gaiter kind of situations is like second option for me. The other one that I like to use, this warm out freeze out, this is for my colder winter months. And when it gets colder out, I like to wear my hair straight because my hair is natural, it won't sweat up. So when my hair is straight, this works really, really well. Um, I have ridden with my hair wrapped um, in New York, the Dominicans, they may call it like a doobie. Um, but I'll wrap my hair with pins and then put this on so that my hair is protected. Underneath, um, if my hair is straight or in a ponytail, this works perfect also. And it also keeps my face like super warm. And then it still provides like that barrier protection that I was talking about earlier in regards to like stopping the wind if your helmet is like noisy or you're receiving like a lot of wind and air up through the bottom. So this works really well for that, but it also works well for protecting my hair and keeping it like in. So the main thing that I want to get across to you ladies, maybe some of you men as well, is the key is to not have your hair exposed outside. Like when I first started riding, my biggest uh, mistake, I guess I would say, is just leaving my hair exposed. And although like it's kind of cute, okay, you see a ponytail, yeah, that's a girl. For a natural haired woman like myself, it's just not the most practical way to go about living your life. Like I had to wash my hair like damn near every day. Um, because you, you know that's literally your hair is flying in pollution <laughs> you know what I'm saying and that's just that's just dirty um, so the main thing that I want to get across to everybody is really just having your hair at the ends of it covered up in whatever way that looks like within the several options that I've showed you now for my ladies that likes to wear protective styles your braids your wigs um, your weaves that can get a little tricky i don't wear wigs and i just wouldn't on a motorcycle because i feel like lifting up your helmet is just risky business and i just don't like to live that kind of risky life i like secured you know situations that i can completely rely on so that's just not my thing however uh if you are like into braids and faux locks and just things like this these are the things that you need to consider Consider and understand that one your helmet may not fit and that is a Whoo kind of situation because the first time that I wore um, braids I Had to borrow one of my boys helmet for the entire duration of it Thankfully, you know within my community of bikers that I ride with and I roll with all of us has more than one helmet so he was able to spot me one of his that he's not riding and or, or was wearing at the time and i was able to wear that for the duration of the time that i had um those braids in that time 
Now this go round, thankfully, these knotless are like, I made sure that she made them like very light and airy so they're not bulky. I thought I was gonna have to borrow my brother's um, helmet, but I have just recently ridden with my size AGV helmets and those are small, so I always get the small medium for my um, pieces and no additional like brain damage is what I would say. Uh, I, I don't get anything like that. Like it's still fine. It fits snug, but not anything that's like uncomfortable. Like the first time I tried to do it two years ago, my head was literally uncomfortable and it hurt. It hurt to take it off. I was like, ugh, I was like doing one of these to take it off and it just was very uncomfortable. This go around way smoother. Another thing that I've learned through this process also are to use those really really large bonnets now ladies and gentlemen i know this is going to look like a bag and honestly it's why i only get the black ones because any other color or pattern i just feel like adds more tack to the situation and not in a good way however bike life is life for me and i had to find ways to kind of get creative and still be able to ride but still maintain my hair and what it is that i look like when it's all said and done because like i said in the beginning of this video our hair does not conform to the norms of our male and our other female counterparts that we have out there so we have to find unique ways to still do what we do while doing what we do all right anyway let's get into how we're able to ride and do this and what it looks like for girls for women men maybe uh who have long hair as such i pull the hair over like such and then i take it and i put it inside of the bag put it in the bag just throw it in the bag <laughs> okay sorry okay once you get it on there like this god dang it my bangle once you get it on right pull it like such dun 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 and this is essentially what you're working with does it look like a bag is on your head I mean, arguably, yes. Will my hair be protected and survive the ride? Yes. And that's what's more important because spike is life. Let's get into putting on this helmet and what that looks like. All right. So, you remember when I said earlier that this one, you know, how these braids are, this go around is a lot thinner and I'm able to fit comfortably my helmet on my head even with it let me show you guys how simple it is with these kinds of braids with my normal size helmet that you can see says ms on there it says ms so this one is mine let's see what it looks like And that's it does it feel a little snug yeah a little bit but nothing like uncomfortable so this is what that looks like and this is what it looks like from the back what it looks like when I ride is like i got a bag <laughs> on the back of my head what i'm thankful and grateful for is the fact that my hair once i reach my destination is still like fully intact and that's really the basis of all of this so although i don't really like it per se i use black these three colors i'm an all black kind of girl so everything about my gear and the things that I like to wear is typically black. So to kind of keep up with that and to make everything kind of like bland and I don't look like I'm sticking out because I got all these colors and you're really like, what is that? I choose black to go with everything, always. 
all right so that's my spiel for all of this if you have any questions let me know below if you want to see more videos like this kind of detailing like how do i or what do i do to kind of combat certain things let me know i hope that you found this to be helpful for any of my chocolate sisters out there that have any additional questions you can definitely find me on instagram at slim rides um, I will respond to any comments and questions. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. If you have a request on anything that I do or I have done and you want me to elaborate a little bit more on it or have an in-detail video, let me know as well. I'm open to it all. I hope that you guys found this content to be interesting and of value. If you did, give it that thumbs up, that like. Share it with your friends, your female sister writers, and if you have any pointers or suggestions, maybe there's something that I missed. Maybe there's something that I could also be doing better. Hit me up and let me know too. Share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. See you guys later. Let's clean this bike.